Sometimes it's the simplest thing that matter most, the tiniest changes to your routine, to your behaviors and to your outlook can have a massive effect on your ultimate results in business no matter what your position or your industry are your success is on the same way a product of the accumulation of your small decisions for example getting to your work little every day gives you more time to work on a biggest project and if you do well on those big projects you will get better poise to earn a raise at the end of the year whether you are seeking to a raise a promotion more business or just high productivity these seven life hacks can lead you together to bring the greater success in business or any life or any your career what's good you guys i am aditya mulkuri the host of that podcast so let's begin this number 1 if it takes less than 5 minutes do it now small tasks can get in the way of your biggest projects trying to tackle them immediately can distract you from your important goals but avoiding them can serve only to increase your workload and bog your down until you get them down to remedy both of these drawbacks apply the following rule if there is a task facing you that will take less than 5 minutes to complete do it right now then it's on out of your way and you all have less existential overhead if it takes more than 5 minutes feel free to postpone it or complete it as you see fit number 2 Use blackout times to get more done. Modern communication is double-edged sword. One, on one hand, having practically unlimited means of communicating gives you more access to the world than ever before. You don't have to wait to contact your co-workers. You can do so immediately. The flip side is that you can be contacted constantly by the people around you, and despite the good intentions of these communications. they can be terribly distracting to avoid this productivity killer schedule black time outs where you sh- shut off all forms of communication including your phone im and email and focus exclusively on real work you will find these periods much more productive number 3 my favorite use dress and posture to achieve your goals as a fashion blogger i think this is the best things the power of non verbal cues is enormous even for a person executing those cues simple changes to your attire your appearance your posture and even your facial expressions can make a big difference in your mentality and your place in the office dressing up can make you feel more confident and look more impressive smiling can make you more approachable and even people's impression of you sitting up straight and making your yourself feel big enhances your confidence and leads you to perform better in conversations Number 4 find ways to move throughout the day most offices just job leavers sitting idle at our desks for long periods of time but getting up and moving can greatly improve both our productivity and our state of mind find excuses to exercise even if it's just a simple walk around the office for every hour you spend seated try a standing desk i love mine and it has done wonders for my back pain Activities such as these will get your blood flowing and get you away from your screen, giving your brain a chance to decompress and improving your focus and critical thinking. It's even good for your physical health. Number five, time yourself. Spend one or two average days timing yourself. Throughout your normal routine, see what tasks and rituals take the longest, and which one take the least amount of time. Once your results are in. take a critical look at the task and behavior so spend the most of this necessary what strategies can you use to cut down the amount time of your spending this practice can highlight productivity killers in your daily routine you may never have otherwise suspected number 6 use the scene field strategy internationally famous comedian and personality jerry seinfeld once revealed that he believed the secret to success was its consistency in his case that meant writing every day in order to improve for you that might mean doing a hour of research every day or anything else relevant to your job seinfeld's method was to mark a giant x on the calendar for each day he wrote a visual indication that kept him going to his consistent practice the trick was not to break the chain eventually you will have a huge row of x's and your motivation is simply to keep it going So if you're looking to the build a new skill, start a new habit or a chip away from the massive assignment, make it consistent, habit and don't break the chain. Number 7, the last one. 
tie everything back to your long term plan while not a life hack in the strictest definition of the term try to tie everything in your daily work back to your long term goals for example if you're working toward a promotion and you're considering what type of training to undertake actively seek out acquiring new skills that will be useful to your desired position try to put everything from your morning routine to your choice of projects to take on it perspective of your ultimate plans this will help you make smarter more relevant decisions and put you on the fast track toward achieving those goals this may all seems like small changes but the secret lies in their ag- aggregate effect only through consistency and commitment will you able to be fully unlock the benefits of these career ha- life hacks try one or more of them out your job and experiment to see which are the most effective you may be surprised at how quickly you start this series results thank you for listening this if you have any queries doubts or questions just dm me on instagram or just mail me this is aditya mulukuri the host of tats podcast signing off peace